Hey guys, what's up today? Um, today I'll be showing you um, kind of an old tutorial. Uh, it involves Call of Duty 4 and patch making. Um, here is my old thread um, on Xbox NB. It does have another guy's video on how to make the infection patch um, and old mega upload links. Um, so what I'm going to do today, move this over. What I'm going to do today is basically remake it and put new download links. I do have my own Navar list right here. Um, if you ha wonder how come I keep going over here, it's just because I have dual monitors and I can't really record both screens. Um, so anyway, I do have my own Navar list that I'll be using today and this will be in the description um, and in the thread. Um, it's got tons of devars that you can be using. Just close this for now. Uh, what you're going to need is this clean Call of Duty 4 patch. And it's basically an infected patch, or an infection patch. It is used in this other video that is in the thread. But it is, um, it's got some devars in it, but you just delete them. Um, so you just drag that onto your desktop. It's the easiest way to do it. Um, open up FF Viewer. I'll put this in the description too. You want to run the FF Viewer EXE. Um, once that loads up, just exit out of that and drag your patch into it. Once this loads, let me enlarge this. You're going to want to look in the. Which one is it? It's in the patch made by. It's usually the top one. This is just in this one, and other ones it's going to be in different locations. Um, sometimes you have to search for it. As you can see, this one does have some other stuff in it, which we're just going to go ahead and delete that. Now, if you you might be asking, well, where do I delete this to? Okay. Well, in this particular patch, you have this VSTR. You don't need this, so you can just delete that anyway. You want to delete it from here and all the way over to here. Go ahead and keep that on there. Once that's deleted, you'll have this MP shipment. Okay. And what this is, is basically in your system link lobby, that's what it will start up on. I like to use BOG in most of mine. Um, it's just kind of a nicer map to do it on. Plus, it gives you a little bit more space. And now we can start adding the Devars. Now, in my Devar list, is kind of separated, a little weird. But um, if you wanted to do simple text on the screen, like simple infection text, that like whenever you hit, you know, the start button, it comes up with text. So you're gonna want to do bind button. No, it's bind underscore button. Oh God, I'm losing my mind right now. Okay. Bind space button, and then you want to do underscore. Or no, yeah, right here, underscore. And now this is going to be the button that you're going to have it linked to. Um, for this one, I'm just going to do back for back button. Um, and then you're going to want it to say say. Then in my Devar list, you can see the colors. Um, I'm just going to use regular cyanide color. Um, it's going to be bottom button, oops, five. And we're going to have it saying Venom X Mods. Okay, so now every time that you hit the back button, it's going to say Venom X Mods. Now, to separate the, the Devars, you're going to need a colon. Okay. Um, and that just separates it and starts the new Devar. Um, for this one, I'll just put a couple of simple ones in it. And basically all you do is copy this and paste. Um, through the Devar list, you can, most of the times so you're going to have the colon already. So you can just go in and find, like, let's say you want um, Chrome mode. Or Chrome mode, yeah. And you want to just copy that. Control C. Control V. Now, if it does this, just very simple, go to the end and delete it like that. Um, 
let's see what else we're gonna throw in this one. Uh, no stun. Go ahead and throw that one in there real quick. Um, now with this one, I gotta put this in my phone. Um, let's see. What else can we throw in here? Big emblem. You'll have a big emblem above everyone's name. Pretty simple stuff. Now, at the end of every one of my patches, I usually like to do update gamer profile. Which what this does is just it updates your profile. So like let's say you have XP or custom classes or any of that kind of stuff um, that needs to be synced with your online. That's what update gamer profile will do. It updates your profile. Um, now at the end, it is a little weird at the end. You're gonna want to do kind of um, it kind of looks like a weird face to me. Um, which one is it? So it here's the end to it right here. It's these three. Most of the time, I like to keep that on there so I don't have to worry about it because um, it is easy to forget if you just kind of started redoing patches again. And another thing, if you have so many Devars in here, that it goes all the way to the end over here and it actually starts coming onto this line you have too many devars in one patch and what that means is when you go to put it on your JTAG it's not going to load or it might actually um, break your JTAG um, so you want to keep it within this first line if you go over this first line then you need to either delete some or that's about it just delete them uh, what else um, like I said, I will be providing this um, Devar list in there. Um, and I think that's about it that you'll need to know. Um, simple thing, just to save your work. You want to go into File, Save Fast File, let it save. Usually it's going to be your patch underscore mp.ff. Just save it. Okay, we're done with that. And now you have your patch. I'm going to name this test patch. And there you go. Um, like I said, I will provide all of this in the description. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, feel free to PM me on Xbox and B or message me on YouTube. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, thanks, guys.